Signs at Victoria Warehouse in Manchester, but tonight it is Ellis Hopkins on her second professional bout. Won her debut when she opened the show at the Manchester Arena on the Kamal Yafai versus Jason Cunningham undercard, when the latter became EBU European Super Bantamweight Champion. That will have wet the appetite for Hopkins, who beat Boris Slava Goranova on points over four two-minute rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a middleweight contest, six two-minute rounds. Introducing in the blue corner, wearing the black and white shorts, weighing 10 stone, 10 pound, and two ounces, from Budapest, Hungary, Claudia V. And in the red corner, wearing the blue and white shorts, weighing 11 stone and 6 ounces, from Colville, Leicestershire, the undefeated Ellis Hopkins! We are referee for this contest, it's Andy Brook. Andy Brook calls them into the middle. The opening bout of the evening, Ellis Hopkins versus Claudia Vig. Now seems like a great opportunity to say hello to Barry Jones. Welcome, Barry. Back up north. Yes, looking forward to it, actually. Yes, and, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing Ellis as well. I did the debut, of course, and she was absolutely fantastic. Second time, round one. Well, Ellis Hopkins got a great reception on the way in. She's brought a great fan base with her. Six two-minute rounds to get the show under the way. And a great jab to begin with, pushing Vig back. And that's what she displayed in her debut contest. Hopkins was a fantastic shab left hand. And that's a cause we all know that. That's the building block for every combination. That's a lovely left hook to the body there from Hopkins. Well, her debut was over four rounds, six this evening. Two minutes apiece, but six rounds gives her a little bit more time to be patient, to build on some fundamentals. Yeah, lovely feints there from Hopkins. That's the way. See those little feints there, just, you know, just doesn't know the other girl you know, to, to, to either attack or defend, she knows what to do, so she'll either tuck up tight or she'll fire off from an uncomfortable position. That gives Hopkins an opportunity to, to land those combinations. Hopkins early on, just happy to dominate that ring position in the middle and catches big with the left hand on the way out. Sharp for that left hand, Hopkins. It's a little bit Savannah Marshall, isn't it? To be fair, not, no, nice and relaxed. No, nice and no, almost seems like you know, uh, like a walk in the park. But every move is sharp. The jab is solid. Judgment of distance is very good. Oh. Not sure that was a little bit low there. That left hook to the body there from Hopkins. But it's been lovely composure for a second fight. It's fantastic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Taking the centre of the ring, good composure. close with the right hand there but composure is a key word that you've used there Barry almost an antagonistic smile on her face as we yeah. come to the end of the first round as well oh, good long left hook there and a solid right hand there from Hopkins and then the body shot and the left hand to end the round and yes having those extra two rounds there very obvious that she's not in a rush. Barely out of breath, getting some corner advice. Well, it's a fantastic start because she's gone off. She, she's gone about the business very, very quickly without rushing any of her work, without breaking sweat, without getting out of second gear, and it all started behind a real solid left hand jab there from Hopkins. We were behind that. Dipped down to the body very early as well. So at one point, there's a nice three punch combination. Started with the body shot, finished with the head shot. These are all things that are really, you know. A pretty advanced stuff for someone only in, their, in only their second contest. I thought that was a, a lovely display of composure, confidence, and 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 ring, ring generalship in, in general, really. So round two of six, second first bout out. of the evening. And it's Hopkins is her second professional bout. We've got a couple of debuts today as well. So do stick with us. A very warm welcome wherever you're watching around the world. Super relaxed, just stretching out that shoulder, Hopkins. Again, speaking of, 
speaking of shoulders, every time she makes that makes a little movement, there's always a little roll of the shoulders. Just disguising every 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 bit of work she's doing. Oh, right hook, lead right hook is a big one. And the jab as well. Yeah, the jab's solid, isn't it? Real good shot. Good looking to engage there, and Hopkins having none of it. Getting in behind the jab, and that left hook to the body for Hopkins. Well, I think she's felt that body shot there, Vig. Left hand's low, right hand's clutched, right elbow's clutched to the to the right ribs there. Again, there's no rush to the work there to Hopkins, just nice and controlled. And that's it, just again, it's been a beautiful jab, hasn't it, tonight? And the right hand this time, just, oh, and then that left to the body again. Well, Vig does nothing, she just, she stays there, she doesn't hold, doesn't fight back, just sits on the rope. Yeah, and those labour changes of direction. Just let Hopkins set herself. Oh, good right work, hand over the top, and then gets Vig onto the ropes. <laughs> Come the life of it, no Vig, hasn't she? He's taking a good shot. Two rounds in. And more good work from Hopkins. Just towards the end of that round there, we just saw the suggestion that she might start to go through the gears. Yeah, but I still think it's very important that she doesn't rush her work. I think she can up the pace a little bit now, but I think the fact that she's the fact that she's keeping her, her distance all the time, not getting too close to the target, which means she can produce the better work, the better shots, and the quality in the work. Again, you don't see her you know, getting that front foot too close, allowing Vic to hold on or survive. Everything's from range, everything's comfortable for her. She's getting full extension in the punches and also better vision. She can see the target better. I think it's been a fantastic display so far, really. But for a young girl in a second fight, it's a it's a very mature performance. 20 years of age. 10 seconds, guys. Her father, her family, all of her gym. Seconds out. Share Round her ambition. Three. They're quoted as saying, we have one goal, world champion. I mean, she'll certainly face sterner tests then this evening. No pressure then. Yeah. My father had one goal, get me out the house. That was it. And it worked, here we are. Over borders and everything, Barry Jones. <laughs> but this is the opening bout of the evening, and Ellis Hopkins dominating Claudia Vick. As we expected she would, however, still important to put on a show and build those blocks for a professional career. Oh, another body shot, that one came off the arms but still looked like it hurt Vic. Well, Vic, Vic can control when, when, she, when Hopkins throws a feint, Vig's lost. Oh, some lovely work there. See that then digging to the body then throwing that right hand over the top. But it's again, it's a, it's a little half a step back just to produce the space to throw that right hand. Oh, lead right hand again. See, I think I still think if she faints a little bit and gets her left foot a little bit closer, she doesn't swing that right hand. She turns from the hips and makes that right hand a little bit straighter. That's a better shot for her. Oh, the body shot drops, Vic. You suggested that she was hurt from one earlier on, but she dug that left hand in. Vic is up. But is that the beginning of the end for the Hungarian? Well, this is where the Hopkins got a. No, she's controlled the pace nice and comfortable. No, this is where she's got to step on the gas now. Lovely left hook there from Hopkins. Again, that jab is just so mm. strong, isn't it? Just seeing Hopkins use her extra physicality there. That's the first time we've seen her really fall on big in the ropes, just looking to do everything she can to erode the physicality of her opponent. Vig down, another good round for Hopkins. It's fantastic, better against, she's getting better every round, isn't she? I think it's a fantastic experience. Again, no stand up, no, I don't think she, don't even think she up the pace a little bit more. She's just planting her feet. Hey, the mic ain't working. 
and she just, and she just stands and over more weight and purges into the shots. There's a good right hand to the body. I think she's to a left foot before it, and then under the good right hand to the body then, and obviously Vigard taking a few already in the last couple of rounds, and had to take a little bit of a breather. And Hopkins up the pace then, put pressure on her. The big scene to the left, into the obviously to the bell, and to the last round. It'll be interesting if Hopkins don't put the foot on a gas and, and go for the finish. Well, let's go back to that composure point then, because we've got a lot of boxers early in their career this evening. We've got debuts for Will Harris and next Kobe McNamara later on as well. And particularly when you've got a traveling fan club, as Ellis Hopkins has here this evening, the temptation is to go in and really try and make a statement and knock the block off your opponent and we've not seen that from Hopkins oh, this evening have no, we? No, sorry, you've got to say it's a lovely, uh, like a right screw shot there from Hopkins. Shot again. Digs in another heavy body shot. Actually, you know what, she doesn't dig it in, it's all smooth there, no, she's throwing a, a good shot and there's weight behind her, but she actually she doesn't exert too much energy, she turns from the core, she rips it in, you know, it's really good technique. And that low left hand, right hand up around the chin, throws the lead right this time and again goes to the body. And Vig tucks those elbows in. She's quite tough, isn't she, Vig, to be fair. No, whatever, whatever this looks like at home, being close up here in the shot, they're, they're heavy punches. And, and correct and clean. No good jab there from Big. Two body shots again from Hopkins, not going head hunting. It's a body shot that yielded the knockdown in round three. And the constant talk about composure, but the concentration of Hopkins has been very good. Well, she's never never lost focus, and that's why she hasn't made many mistakes. So her focus has been so good that she's kept the foot placement in well. She's kept the distance to get a full extension on the punches. And another body shot to that spot that dropped Claudia Vig. She just stumbled backwards then, like she started oh. to slow again, and then gets cuffed onto the ropes. Oh, and what Hopkins. an uppercut! Oh. Just more clean shots right on the bell, finishing the fourth round in style. Four rounds down, still two to go, Barry Jones. What impressed you that round? The, the round, pretty much, from start to finish. I think no, she started it fast, she felt... I, I, I thought she thought, like I thought it was the last round, but... She, <laughs> She put she put her foot on the gas though, off from the from the bell. I think that's because she already heard Vig in the, in the last round to test her to see what her result was like. Seeing that Vig was still you no know, within herself, so she she relaxed again. No, no, maybe she could have put more pressure on her and up the, kept the pace. But she used the brain. She relaxed again. Went about her work in a methodical but, but impressive manner. I thought picking her shots yeah, well. There was a one right hand in there. There was a lovely uppercut and a lovely straight right hand somewhere within that round, which was just sheer down. class. Round five. Penultimate round then. Ellis Hopkins again straight to the middle of the ring. See, I think you know, they told her to go out there now and, and it would be dominant, but when she tries too hard, I think she gets too close, as we've seen there. Because that's one of the few times that she's missed the combination because the front foot's too close because she's trying to get the girl out of there, I think. You know, up the pace a little bit, but you know, I wouldn't get too reckless. That's good work there, doubling up with the left hook. And then Vig manages to throw in in the clinch. Those clean shots have been few and far between for Claudia Vig. Oh, lead right from Hopkins. Which, to be fair to Vig, she wears well, but she doesn't want to take too many of those. And they're just, they're just above us now, you can hear the weight, can you, when she digs in that body shot. Like, Vig, Vig's no, no, no world beater, let's not get carried away with that, but it's still, you know, for a young girl, just a, a straight away to the centre of the ring, be dominant in every department, and again, I say it all the time, good right hand, 
I say it all the time about youngsters and early in their career, about keeping your shape, don't lose your composure, keep your concentration levels. All these things are quite important to, to learn early, good habits, and she's got them. It's a great jab again. Yeah, she went to put the big right hand on the end of it and couldn't quite get it. It's also quite difficult to really get the impact of the shots when Vig is very often already going backwards because yes. she knows the shot's coming. And Hopkins wraps up. And big shots bounce off the gloves. A little apology there from Hopkins for landing that jab just after the bell, but one round to go. And more of the same, the jab looks good. The right hand's heavy. Well, she's just in full control, isn't she? She's doing what she wants to do. She's maybe, you know, if you want to be overcritical, she could have had the pace a little bit more, maybe. But it, I, I'm well happy with the way she's boxing. No, they won't care about that, of course, in the corner. But, but also, she could cut the ring off a little bit. She did it little, now and again, she cut the ring off, but she's still sort of following Vig around a little bit, even though she's dominant and she's bullying Vig from the first round up until up until now. She could still cut the ring off a little bit more just to get Vig to stay in the corner and then work her over. But apart from that, I think it's been an A, an a class performance from her. It really has. Seconds out for the sixth and final round. Final round of the opening bout then. Ellis Hopkins has been impressive for five. These two minute rounds in this opening bout of the evening. Claudia Vick is her 39th professional bout. She was dropped in the third round, but to be fair, she has hung in there. She's seen pretty much the full skill set of Ellis Hopkins. Good left hook there from Vig. Just in close there. Hopkins got a little bit too close. Oh, another couple of body shots from Hopkins. Right then, left, and then gets the left hook. But again, Vig wears incredibly well. You know, the best shot in that combination was the right uppercut through the middle. Beautiful shot. Bit of a character this big, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. Oh, left uppercut this time, and the follow-up for Hopkins just misses. Yeah, she's boxed a, boxed a few times in the UK. And given how durable she's been this evening, I can imagine we'll be seeing her on cards for quite some <laughs> time, Claudia Vick. Another good jab from Hopkins. And even though there's been, there's been more impressive shots from Hopkins, it's been the jab from, from early days that, that have you know, forced Vig in retreat. Any time she's had any, and it's been very few, any any bits of, any thoughts of ambition, that jab has made her push, has pushed her back, put her back in her place. Oh, good right hand from Hopkins. And again. Final few seconds then, around six and the fight. Hopkins versus Vig. Good way to open the show. We will go to the scorecards. But I can't see anything else other than a comfortable Hopkins victory. And you've spoken in glowing terms about it for the last six rounds, Barry. But that's because it's been a, a star-studded performance, really. The future's bright for Ellis Hopkins. It is. It's just it's just it's a, a, a journey person who's, who's obviously not going to not going to come to you know, cause a massive upset. So we have to be realistic about that. But it's not about that. You no, know, this, this is still a girl in a second fight. She's 20 years of age. You know, there's so much learning to do. But again, the way she conducted herself from start to finish, because you can get you know, when you're up against someone who, who's, who's unambitious, you can make mistakes. You try and get too, you try and be too flash or too aggressive or try and get the, the stoppage that's not going to come. She never over, she never overreached with anything. She never tried too hard to do anything. She stayed boxed within herself. She upped the pace when she needed to. Everything was beyond a solid jab. The fundamentals were good. Her vision was good. Her foot placement was really was was impressive. She kept that distance so she could get full extension on every shot, and nothing was coming back that could reach her because she was always in a safe position. I think it, it was a it was a really mature and, and, and con Thank conclusive you. performance. Our referee Andy Brooks scores the contest 60-53 to your winner.
Hopkins awarded every round and then there was the knockdown for Vig as well so 60-53 a very impressive second professional contest for Alice Hopkins she moves to 2 and 0 still looking for that first stoppage but I'm sure that will come particularly against more